here, right? Hey. What do you think? It's uh it's it's cool. Like it's uh definitely a mini version of a mountain sled. You know, I was a little worried it would be like a um you know some of some of the more miniature intro sleds that have been out in the last decade or so that just aren't really capable of doing anything but going out in the meadow and down a trail. So it's, it's more than just a, a, a kid sled. Well, it, yeah, it, yeah, it's more than just a kid sled or something to just throw a beginner on it. I think you put, you know, a, a kid with some talent on it. You know, somebody wants to go develop some skills. And this is really like a miniaturized mountain sled, so they can, they could drop into stuff, and it's not going to climb in fresh snow very well, but it'll go across, so it's going to allow them to learn some good side heel techniques, and, you know, throttle control and one foot and all that. So everything that this sled is going to force you to do is going to teach you uh, stuff that's going to be beneficial when, when they graduate to a, a full-size sled. You could put a, you know, maybe a pretty, pretty talented ten-year-old with some muscle, or maybe a twelve-year-old kid, on this, and he's gonna have fun. He's gonna be able to go do a mountain ride with you. You're just gonna have to help get it up out of any kind of an incline with fresh snow. So it's capable. Yeah, it's it's really capable. It it could use um, it could use a strap here, just so because it washes out more than a normal mountain sled would. So you do kind of need something to grab just to leverage it over and get it set so you can take off again. Um, I wouldn't ride with it, but I would I would like that just to be able to reset. The running boards could use a little more traction, but I'm sure there's something there with, they don't want them too sharp, too aggressive with kids on it. But yeah, it's it's more capable than I thought it would be as a mountain sled. How's the cockpit area feel as far as size? Does it feel small? Does it feel... Uh, not really. This actually... It's smaller than an Alpha, but it's not like Bravo small. You know, it's bigger than a Bravo, I would say. So adults have no problem riding yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, I'm, well. I'm 6'4", 210 pounds, and I had no problem with, with the cockpit. I, I get my legs far enough back, I get my legs far enough forward. Uh, the handlebars are low, but they're, they're where you would want it for proper geometry and proper control over the vehicle. If you, if you put a big tall riser on this, the way it, it'll wash out, the kid, the kid's never gonna be able to get it over on edge if it's got a tall riser. So you want that low CG uh, just for control. The bars are wide, you know, those are, those are 800 millimeter wide, like a mountain bike bar. And um, So I, I, don't, I don't see anything that's gonna teach a kid bad characteristics. You know, if you put a kid on a, on a old freestyle, he's not gonna learn any mountain riding skills. You're better off putting a kid on an old mountain sled on an older 600. Uh, but this, man, everything, we, we just dropped off that ridge. Of course, couldn't come back up, but we dropped off and just, you know, went side hill through trees. And you, you gotta be, uh, you gotta hold your edge a little better because the, the pan will wash out. Uh, but you can go down at an angle and you can hold the line pretty good. This is just gonna teach kids how to ride mountain sleds. Good thing. So suspension wise, obviously it's it's built for a, um, less weight than a full size snowmobile and less aggressive rider. Does the suspension yeah. feel good? Yeah, the suspension's not bad. I mean, it's it's soft. So if you went, if you were to, you know, if you were getting serious about it, like you want to turn this into as good of a mountain sled as it could be for your kid, you would want to go up quite a few rates on the shock springs on the skis. And then that would push the ski into the snow and that would lift the pan out of the snow and you would have more control, especially on an edge. Uh, your ski would be driving you rather than your, your belly pan. Well, it's capable, it's capable of side hilling and it's uh, got enough power to get you around. When it comes time to purchase a sled for your teenager, do you go after one of these? This is just like entry level and it's that stepping stone that the industry has lacked from a 200 to whatever you pick for your kid to get on like a 600. You know, this industry struggled with 
with keeping kids in the sport, you know, kids love it. They have 200s, they go out and play, they love the snow. They outgrow that sled and suddenly they stay inside and they start playing ball sports and they don't hang out in the industry anymore. And then a small percentage of them, maybe because their family still rides or their dad still rides or parents ride, a small percentage of those kids come back, but not, not very many. So we're trying to bridge that gap and keep kids in through their teenage years and then that's kind of what, what will keep them hooked into the sport because this this will hold its resale value you could buy it keep it for two years or one year i mean this will probably teach your kid good enough skills to jump up to a 600 or an 800 within a year but then you could resell it and not lose very much money just a couple maybe a few hundred bucks so i i see this as something that's been missing in the industry it's, a, it's going to be valuable and so you, you applaud Arctic Cat and Yamaha for coming to the industry with something that bridges that gap and, and yeah, makes I mean, it. This, this had to cost them a lot of money. You know, you've got your, your tooling costs for your plastics, your metals, your engine development. You know, that, that takes millions and millions of dollars. So for them to sink that money into R&D, they've got data, obviously, that's telling them that they're going to get a return on that, that it's worth doing. This is legit. This is not just a field slit. This is... Like, like we're on two top, we're at eight, you know, 78, 8,000 feet elevation, tree riding, dropping into canyons and having fun. It's, it's a mountain slide, it's cool.